I'm here to stock up on green leather. Oh no, sorry, that's my other channel. I'm here at Leatherstock Green Football Club. Welcome to a new season of Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone as we theatrically walk through the gates of Leverstock Green Football Club. Um, Pre-season friendly today against AFC Dunstable, a club I've been to several times before. I quite often come here pre-season actually. Um, for those of you who don't know, they're in the South Midlands League, sort of halfway between St Albans and Hemel Hempstead really. I uh, haven't been here for a few years and not a lot seems to have happened to it since I've been here but it's a um, reasonable little setup on a sort of vaguely mild day um, and here we start our walk around car parking only no spectator viewing okay well that's a uh, really in with the spirit of non-league football and community isn't it maybe they should develop an app so that you um you press the app and somebody comes to you with a, a cup of tea uh, from your car don't even have to move Anyway, here we are, um, walking around at this near end. Um, I'm not the greatest love for pre-season friendly, so I'm going to be honest. So I'm doing this one today and one next Saturday, hopefully, and uh, that'll be it. Um, and then competitive football starts immediately after that. Um, thank you to all those who have um, commented, um, been on my site during the summer break. Um, there's a few people to give a shout out to who subscribe. So here goes as we look back at the, um, at the dressing room. There's um, Adam Bennett. Uh, Bennett is usually more applicable with this channel. Keith Kelly. I guess I'm one of Kelly's heroes. Andreas G. G. Andreas. Fault will not be laid at your door for subscribing. And Mark Bogue. E sounds like a nice fella. So um, no hard standing up that near end there where that car is. There's just sort of gravelly path but we've got a hard standing here and there's a little stand ahead of me and um folding floodlights as you can see what a marvelous invention they are so um when you have an evening game you just um hoist up uh, the floodlight and the rest of the time it's not um spoiling the view of uh, the locals and all that kind of thing so um yeah really good idea and there's a view of one of those bad boys up there. I chose this one today as a bit of a loosener, get back in the swing of things. Um, just a bus journey from where I live, although it takes an hour and a quarter, and every Charlie in the neighbourhood seemed to be out today. Absolute carnage, I tell you. So here's the, um, the seating area here. Um, quite small. A few lads and uh, um, friends of Leverstock Green FC stand. It says um, no spectators are there either standing in front of the stand. I think there's a little um, two by four square down here where um, the spectators can stand for the day. It's a bit of a slope on this pitch. Um, so where the Leverstock players who are um, in the yellow at the top, it kind of falls away down to this near end. It's, it's not the biggest slope I've ever seen. Um, and I guess on a day like today where the grass is short, pitch looks lovely actually. Um, it's not going to be an issue as I'm going to get run, run down here by a scooter. And, um, oh, look at this. Line marking paint. What a fun I could have with that if I took it home. Um, so, here we are at the far end. I quite like the way the... It, it doesn't sort of come to a sharp angle by the corner flag. It sort of drifts around the corner I'm, I like that I don't know if you noticed at the far end but the um, goal's quite a little way away from where you're able to stand it's a lot nearer here and um, the goal nets look I don't know how new they are they're certainly new from when I was last here but the um, I like goal nets with a tint so um, looking back at where we've just been quite like that group of trees up there 
folding frog lights and the stand where I will probably sit today. So stay tuned, I will do some clips of the game um, and then there'll be a bunch of stills at the end of it. And ah, oh, happy days. Oh, it's good to be back. I've just spotted in the far corner and I'm beelining off the um, hard standing to the thing I love most on my walks around the ground, the rusty roller. If I ever decide to own a racehorse, I'm going to call it the Rusty Roller. It's got a real ring to it. You can see it now falling at the second at Weatherby. Um, anyway, there you go. Uh, what a great one that is. Perfect addition to my collection. So I spent last evening going through the early rounds of the FA Fixtures, FA Cup Vars Trophy. Um, selected a bunch of places I'm going to be going. Um, all points north, west and south at the moment. Nothing east as yet, but that will happen and I'll usually change my mind several times. I've already changed my mind once since I picked them um, for one of the places. Um, so I won't give anything away because I, um, I think half the fun of this channel is you never quite know where I'm going to go. I never know where I'm going to go, so no one else has any chance. Um, so that's the change rooms there, LG FC. Oh, hang on, Premier Pitch. Do not cross somewhere else you can't stand. Okay, so through these gates, and there's a man with a ladder coming right at me. There's a man with a ladder coming right at me. There we go. It's all right, fine. Nothing to see here. Um, so this is the tea hut. And the tea hut's not going to be open today or Tuesday due to holidays, but you don't really expect that on a pre season friendly and just to my right here is the bar which I took a shot of Wimbledon on there it's just a little look in there and this is one of the um, dinky little dugouts to my left there and the other one's the other side of that um, the clubhouse area there so I'm going to stop here uh, where the noisy leather stock priors are doing their drills and warming up. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and as I say, please stick uh, around for clips of the game and some stills at the end. Um, if you've liked this video, click on like. If you've hated every moment, click on dislike. And why not subscribe? Um, if you subscribe, then all the videos that I do, and I'll try and do one most Saturdays if possible, will come through to your YouTube feed. And once you've done that, once you've subscribed, then click on the little bell. And if you click on the little bell, you'll wake up in the morning and there'll be a fabulous rusty roller in your garden. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's good to be back. Um, speak to you soon. Enjoy the rest of the video and this is Leverstock Green Football Club. Save Kate. And nil two. Second half about to start, and Dunstable are, have got a completely different team and a completely different strip. Don't you just love pre season friendlies?
Full time and I'm walking up Pancake Lane. Pancake Lane is the home of Leverstock Green and often being described as a bit of a toss of myself it seemed like the logical place to start. Final score was Leverstock Green nil, AFC Dunstable 2, the score was irrelevant of course. Um, first half was good, um, I kind of lost a bit of believability in the match when the entire team changed for Dunstable in the second half. Still it was a very pleasant afternoon, nice to be back on the road, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe and I will see you next week hopefully. This was Leverstock Green Football Club.